You are officially tuned into J Week. It is my birthday week. A countdown until 11 11. And my birthday is on a Saturday this year. So you already know it's going up. You guys, so we're starting this vlog off. I want you guys to come with me. Your girl's getting older, but she's still young and fine. So we're kicking off this vlog going to my homegirl Jasmine Salon Suite Grand Opening. So about to head there now, link up with the girls. And yeah, my girls are doing big things, so we have to congratulate them. And then we have moves to make right after. So we gotta put on a cute outfit, do our hair, do our makeup. Let's go. United, reunited. Back again. Back again. So good. Back again. We're back. Okay, we're back for Jasmine's grand opening of her sweets, baby. Sweets opening. Okay, so we outside. She won't even let us come in to see. We gotta stand outside. Stand outside on the seat. Hey, hey, we learned from you, man. That's so cute. Everybody is like more in their fall. Yeah, I'm used to see fall. I'm used to seeing y'all in y'all spring attire. And make it. And now no I'm seeing the fall, on. the fall we girls. We actually got clothes. Wow. 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 This is a very long process for me. Not to y'all, because I got the building in September. Thanks to my real estate river. Woo! <laughs> river. And uh, it was a little trials and tribulations. People was playing on my top. <laughs> my contractors, was, you know, that was kind of getting on my nerve, but we got it together real quick. And I'm just very grateful for everybody that supported me, all my friends. My man, <laughs> um, <laughs> my parents, my family, like it's just the emotional support, financial support, all I love it. I want to thank God for this opportunity. Y'all know this, this is a Christian based business. That don't mean I'm be playing Yolanda Adams the whole time, but I'm just saying, like, the morals and stuff, like, where it come from, it's gonna be coming from love. It's not giving, like, money hungry business. Like, I'm gonna treat my tenants with respect. I'm gonna have them. They're gonna be good. What I'm serious is don't make me the scissors, y'all, because I didn't know you were supposed to get no real cute scissors. So, <laughs> the oversized one. Those cute? Thank you. Okay. They match Okay, this is to New Beginnings and changing all 10 of my tennis slides for the better. Woo! And trips on me. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> put in here you guys Look, she didn't did everything she said she was gonna do I'm so proud of my girl she did this you guys salon suite salon suite salon suite salon suite salon suite yes and then jazz salon suite sweet 
It's amazing. It's so big in here. And then it wrap around like that. Boom, 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 boom. Holding two cameras here. But girl, I'm so proud of you. You did it, girl. If your friends don't super get the right style. picture, baby. Super style. Let's do a toast to I'm gonna turn. Yeah. <laughs> so I love Jamal. Love Ooh, you so cheers. cheers. Congratulations, Jazz. <laughs> We're all here to support <laughs> you. <laughs> That's a little Jazz, you did that little dip. I ain't gonna hold you right there. That dip. Mm. <laughs> all right, you guys. I'm headed out. I'm headed to the next spot. My girl Barb is in there, so let's go to the next place on our list of stops for the night. I'm so proud of my girl Jazz. We're on the move. Alright guys, you know I always have the moves. So this is the High Museum of Art. Every first Friday of the month in Atlanta, they open it up to see the art, to the public. It's DJs, it's live bands, it's all of that. So I pulled up over there. I had to show off my outfit. My outfit was perfect for an art museum and I actually haven't been to a museum since living in Atlanta. So this is me at the museum. Also, I didn't get to show you guys my outfit so I was like, girl, it was the boots. I got compliments on the boots all night. Go to my Instagram to see the full photo of my outfit. Um, but this museum was so fun. I really had an amazing experience. Um, it's a three level, art museum so it's a lot of floors walking around seeing different art pieces and artwork so I just took this moment in I didn't bring my camera in this was just you know me going and I didn't really know what what to expect but here is some stuff that I took on my phone of the art pieces um, and yeah, I had a really good time. So this is before the turn up, before I link up with the girls. So me and the girls are going out tonight. And it's times where I don't bring the camera or, you know, I'm just vlogging my phone. So these are one of those times. But you guys get the vibes of what's going on here at this museum. And I'm having a great time. store for my little code $80 tissue uh what I get day quill night quill I had to get some for the season it's November 1st baby defense tiling off uh because sometimes I feel like if you do this too consistently you need to switch it up so your body get a different dose of some type of other medicine so conjunctionally one day on this one day on this Whenever I switch it up, and then we got our elderberry zook. Eighty dollars, eighty dollars to be sick. Eighty dollars to be sick. So I'm about to make me a bowl of soup. I don't want to feel like this, but we feel like this. I felt this coming, so I'm gonna soup 
medicine, I think that in two days we can knock it out. I'm not stopping. Everybody keeps saying, rush Jayla, rush Jayla. It's my birthday month. It's my birthday month. I already didn't go out for Halloween. Well, I stopped by a place, but I didn't feel too well, so I came back in the house. <sighs> I don't want to feel this way. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. I don't want to feel this way. As you can see, my personality is it's ready to ha, ha. And then my body is like, girl. Girl. So I'll go ahead and bust open these Kleenex. If we can get the nose to stop right there. All right, guys, and now we're going into the grocery store. Heartland needs more broccoli, and I'm gonna make some soup because it's wet there. I just feel like being chill. I'm so chill today. But okay, so we're gonna get some stuff some broccoli, some watermelon. Oh, my hair. We're gonna get some broccoli, some watermelon. I need some beef for the vegetable soup. So let's, let's go grocery shopping. My body's feeling under the weather, you guys. It was 80 degrees yesterday, and now it is 50 degrees outside. I can't. I literally cannot. Guys, we made it back to the house. I'm gonna wash my hands really quickly. Harlem, you want broccoli? No broccoli? I'm gonna wash my hands. This is my soup pot. It's a little beat up. I honestly think this is my mom's pot that I got in college from her. So she's a little worn in, but this, this, that soup. That soup. I'm gonna put some water in and let it start to boil. The piece of meat that I got is a chunk, rope, well, a boneless chunk of beef. So we're gonna fill up the water halfway. I'm gonna put this in. It's gonna start making some type of a broth. I also have tomato paste, diced tomatoes, mixed vegetables, cut green beans. I did get potatoes. I had to go back into the store for the potatoes. Some potatoes. Yeah. I got some caramel dip for the apples in the fridge that I have already. Let's put Harlem's broccoli in the microwave. Chicken nuggets, buffalo strips. My favorite watermelon. I buy watermelon year round, so that's that. I know I'm feeling under the weather, so I was feeling pretty snacky. I got some of my favorite chips, Lay's, cheddar popcorn, White cheddar popcorn, Cheetos, Cheeto pops. The weather got me under. Let's try this watermelon. Here comes Harlem. He wants some too. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Harlem wants one. How I get a dog that act just like me? I don't know. <laughs> mm, top tier. All right guys, so with my soup, 
normally you can buy the beef already cut up they did not have any more at the store so I'm having to manually put in some work chopping up my meat for my soup so it's chopped up I chopped up the potatoes I have cans of green beans and vegetables and tomato paste that's going to make us this spicy soup I'm also using a lot of cayenne pepper because I want this cold gone okay so my soup is spicy spicy all right guys I'm kind of upset because I would start feeling bad around my birthday but oops, vegetable soup is on the way so we're gonna let that cook for another hour Red my bestie's calling me. Let's see what he wants. Hello. Hey, babe. Hi. Um, I'm at home changing into my Halloween costume. Uh, wait, what did you say you had to do tonight? Pretty Little Thing is having a party. Period. Okay, man. So I, I didn't want to hold you up if you was like, about to run out or something. Oh, okay. Okay, we're back. All right. It's, it's still gonna take like twenty minutes, probably. Okay, that's fine. Okay, cool. All right, bye. All right, guys. So while I was under the weather for actual Halloween night, the weekend before, I was invited to Pretty Little Things Halloween Mansion Party. And on the walk-in, this is what it looked like. It was all decorated and spooky, and it was a vibe. I mean, almost. Every influencer was there. Like, I just saw so many people with so many people in the room. And you just really didn't know who was who because of the Halloween costumes and everything. But it was so many people there. So cute. Love, love, love the event. So this is me just walking in. my god guys so also i'm going to the fashion show that i showed you guys the designer was making my outfit so my bestie has my outfit he's gonna come here now so i can try it on the show is tomorrow the next part about all of this is that i had a bad date just right before i sat down to talk to you guys this is my takeout food from pasha I've been to Pasha many times. I've been to Pasha for my birthday. Like, Pasha is down the street from me. It's it's a place that I've been to many times. So this guy hits me up at like five o'clock and wants to, wants to like go get some food before my party tonight. The party was from is from ten to two, but he's like, you know, maybe I can see you before. So he hits me up probably like five o'clock and he wants to meet up. And when I talk to him, he's like, yeah, can you be ready here in like this time? I was like, okay. So I think at like 6.45, I text him and I'm like, let me know when you're leaving out. He's like, okay, I'm going to be there at 7.10. Now, mind you, I was a little late. I got there at 7.30, so I'm 20 minutes late. But also, it wasn't like a set time. I don't know. Even when I go out to eat with my friends, like whoever makes it there first is just who makes their first. But I get some people are very, I don't know. That's not how my friend group roll. Like, and then the next thing, I'm used to people picking me up or calling me a car. So, you know, if I have to get there myself, if I'm 15 minutes late, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but like, I'm not sorry, unfortunately. So, he acted like he didn't care about it. But he got me hookah and a drink. And then he was like, yeah, I'm just going to leave. Okay. Bye bye. So he left and I still got dinner. I got dinner to go. I got the shrimp, the kebab, shrimp kebab. And then it has a nice like salad over here that I was munching on. It was really good. So yeah, I had hookah, lemon drop. And yeah, I got food to go. Like, I just feel like that's so sassy. 
Like, you don't know what I was doing in my day. You don't know what happened to me today. Like, have conversation. You can't even have conversation. Where's my fourth problem? Oh, right there. And the next thing is, it's a Thursday, okay? I had a full work day today. So it's like, dang. And then I told him, I was like, I didn't have to do my makeup until later on. And I, like, did my makeup for you. Like, what? But, girl... I'm just living life. <laughs> I'm just like, damn. It make you that mad that you want to leave? Like, what kind of trauma wounds do you have? Fifteen minute grace period for people to... In Atlanta, with the traffic, ballet, where to park. A fifteen minute grace period is nothing. People got to pull up. People got to get there in our traffic. Nah. Thank you for my hookah, bro. And my lemon drop. So. My sallows, bro. Didn't I pull up such a cutie? I got cute for him. And he didn't even care. Boys, they never notice. They never notice. Actually, you know, let's run it back, you guys. I think from like 25 to about, yeah, 28, I feel like I was just in confusion with who I wanted to be, where I was going, and but still like trying to live life and trying to figure it out. You know, like, it was just such a weird time in my 20s, I must say. I feel like I accomplished a lot. I always accomplish a lot. I feel like that's something that I'm good at. But I also feel like what I've realized is, like, sometimes work for me is a trauma response. <laughs> and that was something that was, like, hard to come to terms with. Like, oh, wow. I'm like, okay. Like, I pour myself into work when I am going through something and not, like, actually dealing with it. But then when I started dealing with it, it was like, oh, this is heavy to deal with. <laughs> this is so heavy. Um, so, definitely, past few years, like, doing work on myself and exploring self has been something that has been I've been doing um, on the back end. And I've, I've enjoyed it, but I've hated it. And it's been hard. And it's been chaotic and I feel like I've been pulled in multiple different directions like career wise like pulled in different directions of kind of where I can go or where other people will think I should go and then like also what does self want to do that has been a very big battle in my 20s what am I supposed to do what does self want to do where should we be like that is a big one it's still something that I feel like I feel like once you hit 30, you're just more sure of yourself and know more about yourself. And I feel like uh, the 20s is just for exploring. And in the exploring, it just feels like you're on a roller coaster, kind of. And sometimes it's cool, but like sometimes it's roller coastery. And that's just what I would explain the 20s as. So going into 29 and going into 29 with 12 months until I turn 30, I'm open to wherever life takes me. I'm very open. What's up guys? So I am off to the fashion show. This is what I'm rocking there. Um, I am in alignment with the theme of the show. My outfit is there so I'll switch into some of the pieces that I was made but this is what I'm rocking to the show and this is my purse. Let's go. Let's see what's going on. What's up guys? We're at the fitting. Before the show. I'm not mad now that I see it. I was just about to say that here. 
we gonna go to the mirror and see how you feel. We just, we just was like, Kim just made it. Kim just made it acceptable. Okay. Eat their products all the time. And I told him, it was last minute, because I'm gonna try to make my best. I'm not mad, it's definitely giving a look. But you could just give, have it on and then take it. Oh, one shoulder. How it was falling off one shoulder. for you guys I hope you enjoyed the fashion show did you see that I snuck my new music in on you guys so last year for my birthday I dropped my first single thirst trap it's on Apple music and Spotify all the streaming platforms I wanted to release music for you guys again this year just didn't have the time and I'm like you know what I control how my music is released I control everything around here so I decided to kick off J week my birthday week releasing new music for you guys I hope that you enjoyed the sound you know I'm a turn up girl <laughs> You know, I'm a turn up girl, so I do have my song on SoundCloud. I want for my birthday for you to click the link on my SoundCloud, run up the numbers on my new song, Walk and Check, and more things are going to be coming throughout the week. You already know, like, <sighs> this whole vlog, I didn't took y'all all around. This 30 minutes, we didn't, we've been here, there, all around Atlanta. You know how your girl do. So... I will see you in my next vlog, which will be tomorrow. I'm posting every day this week. Every day this week. 
And you already know we have a birthday photo shoot and everything. So you're just going to have to come along for the ride. Make sure that you are subscribed. Leave a comment in the comment section about my new stuff. We talked about a lot. We talked about dating. We talked about 20s. We talked, we talked about a lot. So just let me know your thoughts in the comments. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Diamonds. I like baguettes. I like the best. Fuck what it costs. Bitch, I'm a boss. So pay your respect. Pay your respect.